it. Now, I'm not trying to installing Photoshop or Premiere on that Docker thing to see how it works, but I wouldn't like to. I don't think I think it would be a nightmare. So this is like a halfway house between using the GPU in here, but not fully using it, if that makes sense. Not like a bare bones one where it's got full GPU acceleration, but it's enough. Because uh, the, the problem with Adobe, especially, and this is the big sticking point, is for us in the sort of the world of post-production, they like basically back in the day, we had Avid and we were trundling along quite merrily on Avid. And then all of a sudden, a guy called Walter Merck um, edited a movie called Cold Mountain in 2003. And he edited on uh, Final Cut. There's actually a book about this. It's called Editing Final Cut on Cold Mountain, Cold Mountain on Final Cut. And what that did, that changed the game. That means we didn't, because we could get cheaper hardware, we all jumped onto Final Cut. And then Final Cut from all the way from three to seven, we were all using it. And some amazing films were edited on Final Cut. Uh, 300, No Country for Old Men was edited on Final Cut as David Finch's Zodiac. And then Apple, being Apple, absolutely dropped the ball. They brought out Final Cut X. Now Final Cut X today is a very different thing than when it first came out. It was, it, at the time it came out, there was no translate. You couldn't bring back a Final Cut 7 file. You couldn't export for us, the professional world at the time. It was a nightmare because basically we we couldn't, you know, that was, Final Cut 7, we were all using it, was basically running out of life.